Let us discuss module 1 of Advanced Engineering Mathematics for Industrial Engineering. Module number 1 is about Higher Ordinary Differential Equation or ODE. The Differential Operator D. The concept of the Differential Operator D is a symbol used extensively in the solution of linear equations of higher order. In general, an operator is a symbol that is used to indicate an operation to be performed. Let D be a symbol to denote the operation of differentiation with respect to the independent variable, say, x. That is, D is equal to D over dx. Note that D is not a quantity, but an operator or a symbol. When the symbol is placed before any function of x, it indicates that the function is to be differentiated and the result of operation is the derivative of that function. An example, number one. Okay. D of 2x cubed is equal to the differential of 2x cubed, that is 6x squared. Number 2. The differential of x loan of x is equal to what is the differential of x loan of x this is the differential of a product that is 1 plus loan of x okay example number 3 the differential of x square plus sine 4x minus loan of x is equal to the differential of x squared distributive to. So this is the same as the differential of x square plus the differential of sine for x minus the differential of loan of x. Pareho lang yan. And that is equal to the differential of x square is 2x. Okay? Plus the differential of sine 4x is 4 because your u here is 4x cosine 4x and the differential of the loan of x is 1 over x. Okay? Example number 5. Okay? And number 5, that should be number 4. We have the differential of cosine 3x. And that is equal to, the differential of a cosine is a negative sign. But your u here is 3x, therefore this must be negative 3 sine of 3x. In example number 5, we have the differential of e to the negative 2x is the same as, that is e to the u. And the differential of e to the u is e to the u du. Tama? But your u is negative 2x. Therefore, this must be negative 2 e to the neg negative 2x. So that will be the example. D here is the operator or a symbol, not a variable. Okay? We generalize the definition of the operator D as stated above by writing D raised to R to indicate the arc derivative relative to the independent variable. Okay? That is, 
d raised to r is equal to d raised to r over dx raised to r, where r could be from 0 to infinity. Okay? Examples. Number 1. For dr raised to r is equal to d raised to r over dx raised to r, where r is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay? Let's have example number 1. d raised to 2 of 2x cube okay is equal to d times the first derivative of 2x cube is 6x square okay and that should be equal to 12x Okay, so once we differentiate these ones, that is 6x squared, second derivative must give us 12x. This means the second derivative. Okay, the exponent there is not actually exponent of d, but it indicates the number of times you have to differentiate the given expression. Number two. D raised to 0 of x ln of x. This must be equal to d raised to 0 is actually 1. Wala yan. So this means that this is x ln of x. So we just have to copy the expression here and that should be the answer for number 2. Number 3, d is square times x squared plus sine 4x minus ln of x is equal to d times the first derivative of x squared is 2x, okay, plus 4 cosine 4x minus 1 over x. Okay, that is the first derivative, but we have to get the second derivative. So this is equal to, the derivative of 2x is 2 minus 16 sine 4x minus 1 over x squared. Okay? This should be plus na kasi magiging negative 1 minus 1, that's negative 2. So, we have 2. Tama. This is now positive 1 over x squared. That answers number 3. Number 4. Okay. So, we have d cube times cosine 3x is equal to d is square okay times negative 3 sine of 3x okay and that is equal to the derivative of negative 9 cosine of 3x and this should be equal to 27 sine of 3x. If you'll notice, yung derivative natin, unti-unting na mawawala. Okay? So, d cube cosine 3x is equal to d square negative 3 sine 3x is equal to d negative 9 cosine 3x and that is equal to 27 sine 3x. Take note that the power of d does not indicate uh, the degree. It only indicates the number of times we have to differentiate the given expression. 
and number 5. D to the 4th is equal to E to the negative 2x. Again, the power here does not indicate the number of, uh, but this indicates the number of times you have to differentiate the given equation. So d cubed is equal to negative 2 e to the negative 2x is equal to d square that is equal to 4 e to the negative 2x is equal to d negative 8 e to the negative 2x and that is equal to 16 e to the negative 2x. So that answers number 5. Example. Letter C. Differential operators are linear operators. That is, if D represents a differential operator y1, y2, and y3 are functions of x1, x, and c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3 are constant, then for letter C, D of C sub 1, Y sub 1, plus C sub 2, Y sub 2, plus C sub 3, Y sub 3, is equivalent to C sub 1, D, Y 1, plus C sub 2, D, Y 2, plus C sub 3, D, Y 3. So, naging distributive lamang naman siya. Okay? Number, uh, letter D. Although these operators are not algebraic terms, they obey the fundamentals law of, fundamental laws of algebra, and for any function u is equal to fx, we have the following formula. Number 1, d raised to r plus d raised to s u is equal to d raised to s plus d raised to r u. So, Itong mga rules naman na to, ginamit natin to sa algebra, I will, I will not be discussing this any further. These operators and algebraic sum of such operators behave, behave as if they were algebraic quantities and may be so used following the stated formula in algebra. Okay? Now let us have the linear differential equation of higher order in operator form meaning instead of using dr dx or d dx we are to use the operator d okay linear equations of the higher order may be written in the operator form that is phi d y is equal to the function of x, or that is equal to y. Okay? Where phi and d may be written as a sub 0 d raised to n plus a sub 1 d raised to n minus 1 plus up until a sub n minus 1 d plus a raised to n. Okay? Remark. The functional notation phi d is used to indicate that equation a 1a is a polynomial function of d with constant coefficients a's and therefore may be treated as any other polynomial in any single argument in accordance with the formulas in D of the differential equation operator D. Okay? So, let us keep the other discussion anyway. You'll be having this on, you have this on your module. Let us go now to example number one. So, let D be equal, let phi d be equal to d square 
minus 4D plus 3. Operate on the function on the function u is equal to 3x squared plus 2 cosine x. So let us determine the result of the operation. So we may use actually ang present sa atin dito we may use three methods. Okay? So let us have the first method. Method 1. Okay? So phi d is equal to d square minus 4d plus 3 where phi is a function and it operates on u that is 3x square plus 2 cosine x. Okay? So, what are we going to do? Distributive. Based on algebra, we may do this. d square times 3x square plus 2 cosine x minus 4d 3x square plus 2 cosine x plus 3 times 3x square plus 2 cosine x. Okay? So, we may write this as d times 6x minus 2 sine of x. Okay? Minus 4 times 6x minus 2 sine of x plus 9x square plus 6 cosine x. Okay, but we still have a differential here. So, let us differentiate this one more time. So, we have 6, okay, minus the differential of sine is cosine 2 cosine x okay minus 24 x plus 8 sine x plus 9 x square plus 6 cosine x. Simplifying this, we have 9x square minus 24x plus 6 okay, plus 8 sine x plus 4 cosine x. That is the first method. Okay? Now, let us use the second method. Method 2. Paano ba method 2? Okay? So, we may actually factor out phi d. Okay? So, d, d square minus 4d plus 3 can be factored out using d minus 3 times d minus 1. Okay? So instead of using this, we may use this now in u is equal to 3x squared plus 2 cosine x. So we have phi d is equal to d minus 3 
times d minus 1 times 3x square plus 2 cosine x. Okay? Since phi d operates on u. And then, we may use this. d minus 3. If we're going to operate in this, it'll give us 6x minus 2 sine of x minus 3x square, okay, minus 2 cosine x, okay? So, ito, doon, at saka ito, doon. Then, how about this? So, we may have this as, if D should operate on this, this will become 6 minus 2 sine of x. Okay, minus 6x plus 2 sine x minus 18x plus 6 sine x plus 9x squared plus 6 cosine of x. Okay. D to 6. Ah, but naging sine to? This must be cosine. Dito, doon, the differential of that is negative 2 cosine of x. This is negative 6x. Okay. Sine. Simplifying this further, we have 9x square minus 18x minus 6x is negative 24x plus 6 Okay. 2 plus 6 is 8 sine x. 8 sine x. And positive 6 minus negative 2, negative, a uh, positive 4 cosine x. That is method number 2. Okay. How about method number 3? We still have the third method. So, in the second method, we are using the auxiliary method. Third method. Okay. On the third method, we have phi d of u is equal to d minus 1, d minus 3 of 3x square plus 2 cosine of x. Again, actually parang ito lamang yung method number to pinagbaliktad lang natin yung factor ng uh, d square ng d square minus 4d plus 3. So we have d minus 1. The differential should be 6x okay, minus 2 sine x minus 9x square 
minus 6 cosine x. And then we have 6. Okay? Minus 2 cosine x. Minus 18x plus 6 sin x, yung 1 naman, minus 6x plus 2 sin x plus 9 x square plus 6 cosine x. Simplifying this, we have 9x square. Ito yun. Then, this 2. Minus 24x plus 6. 6 and 2. Plus 8 sin x. 6 and 2. Minus or plus 4 cosine x. Okay? So that is the third method. Now we'll have the exponential shift. Using the operator, it can be shown that the deriv derivative of e to the mx is equal to d of e raised to mx is equal to m e raised to mx, and so on. Okay? Note that if m is equal to r is a root of the auxiliary equation phi m is equal to 0, then from equation 3a, we have phi d of e raised to mx is equal to phi d e raised to rx is equal to 0. Okay? So let us have example on exponential shift. Example number 1. Find the solution of the differential equation. Example number one. Find the solution of the differential equation 2d square plus 5d minus 12 y is equal to 0. So what will be the auxiliary equation of the equation? So this becomes phi m and this is 2m square plus 5m minus 12. So in the auxiliary equation, y is not included yet. Okay. Factoring this, we have 2m minus 3 times m plus 4. Okay? And this should be equated to 0. So having this factor, the roots should be for 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. The roots is equal to 3 over 2. And for m plus 4 is equal to 0, the root is equal to negative 4. Okay? With the aid of this, m e raised to rx we may have this phi d of e raised to rx is equal to 2d square 2d square plus 5d minus 12 e raised to rx is equal to 0. 
Okay? And for the two roots that we have, we may rewrite this as 2d squared plus 5d minus 12e raised to r. 3 over 2x is equal to 0, that is for r, is equal to 3 over 2. Call this r sub 1 and r sub 2 para may distinction tayo. And for the other one, we have 2d squared plus 5d minus 12 e raised to negative 4x is equal to 0, that is for r sub 2 equal to negative 4. Okay? So what is now the solution? Therefore, the solution to the given differential equation is ano ba to? For this, your y is equal to e raised to 3 over 2x based on this. Okay? And for the second one, your y is equal to e raised to negative 4x. Okay? And that should be the solution to the differential equation 2d squared plus 5d minus 12 why? Using the exponential shift. Okay? Ngayon, kung gusto natin i-process to, i-differentiate yan, pwede rin naman, distributive lamang naman yan. Okay? But in the meantime, we're just looking for the value of y. Yung susunod kasi, madali na. Example number 2. Example number two, solve the differential equation d plus 3 to the fourth y is equal to 0. Okay? So, balikan natin yung diniscuss natin about exponential shift. Ito. In here, your a is equal to 3. So, para naging a is equal to 3. And from equation 4a, we multiply the given equation by e raised to 3x. Okay? 